down from the heavens bearing the gift it's Jometheus and welcome to getting over it with Ben um, <laughs> this already seems like a mistake uh, I've seen several people play this game if you haven't heard of it this game came out a couple of years ago it was a big hit to play it for a little while just because it's very infuriating like the controls are very bad and so probably gonna have a bad time but I figured it'd probably be funny so I'm gonna give it a shot so yeah, I'm not gonna dwell on it too much more, so without further ado, let's get to getting over it. And I also don't have my mouse. I'm playing with my trackpad, so it's probably gonna be even worse. You gotta go up there. Oh my god. Holy hell, I've like... I can't believe how bad that is. I had heard that the controls were bad, but my god, mm. I can't believe how bad that is. Even just right off the bat, oh my god, this might be impossible with a trackpad. Oh no. Oh fuck. Doing okay so far, I guess. So the whole point of this game is to climb all the way up this mountain. Whoop. Holy hell, this is so floaty. Oh my god. I can't believe this, actually. I guess there's a reason that people were getting so upset by it, but I didn't realize how bad it would control. Holy shit. Oh my god. I'm like flabbergasted. There's no feeling more intense than starting over. If you deleted your homework the day before it was due, as I have, or if you left your wallet at home, and you have to go back after spending an hour in the commute. If you won some money at the casino, and then put all your winnings on red, but it came up black. If you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding, and then immediately dropped food on it. If you won an argument with a friend, and then later discovered that they just returned to their original view. Starting over is harder than starting up. If you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be too much. Feel free to go away and come back. I'll be here. I don't get how people do this. All right. Thanks for coming with me on this trip. I'll understand if you have to take a break at any point. Just find a safe place to stop and quit the game. And don't worry. I'll save your progress always, even your mistakes. <laughs> this game is a homage to a free game that came out in 2002 titled Sexy Hiking. The author of that game was Jazuo, a mysterious Czech designer who was known at the time as the father of B-games. And B-games are rough assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them than as polished products. In a certain way, Sexy Hiking is the perfect embodiment of a B-game. It's built almost entirely out of found and recycled parts. And it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. In it, your task is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. And that act of climbing, in the digital world or in real life, has certain essential properties that give the game its flavor. No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery. And the player is constantly, unremittingly, in danger of falling and losing everything. Anyway, when you start sexy hiking, you're standing next to this dead tree that blocks the way to the entire rest of the game. It might take you an hour to get over that tree, and a lot of people never got past it. You prod and you poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach and your strength, trying to find a way up and over. And there's a sense of truth in that lack of compromise. Most obstacles in video game worlds are fake. You can be completely confident in your ability to get through them once you have the correct method or the correct equipment or just by spending enough time. In that sense, every pixelated obstacle in sexy hiking is real. This is terrible. 
<clears throat> this is terrible. Jesus Christ. How did I get up here before? How did I ever get up here before? Holy crap. This is... Oh my god. Oh, I can't... I can't even, like, wrap my mind... Oh my god. Oh I can't wrap my mind around how bad this controls. This is so bad. Half of the... Half of how infuriating it is, is, is the terrible controls. Um, and I think the other half is just listening to that guy. With his fake artsy perspective, which isn't really meant to actually have any sort of message, it's just kind of made to piss you off. Oh my god. It's so bad. I can't describe how bad this is. It's like, half the time, it goes one way. Is it inverted? Is it always inverted? No, it's not. When it's... What the fuck? No, it's never inverted. But it's still... It's so bad. It's just... Unbelievably bad. There's some progress. Don't lose it all. The obstacles in sexy hiking are unyielding, and that makes the game uniquely frustrating. But I'm not sure Jazuo intended to make a frustrating game. The frustration is just essential to the act of climbing, and it's authentic to the process of building a game about climbing. A funny thing happened to me as I was building this mountain. I'd have an idea for a new obstacle, and I'd build it, test it, and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. But I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. It already felt like my inability to get past the new obstacle was my fault as a player rather than as a builder. Imaginary mountains build themselves from our efforts to climb them, and it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. Oh, fuck you, dude. It seems all just troll dialogue, like blaming you as a player and saying like there's nothing in the game that's actually unreasonably hard it's just your fault as a player oh my god I don't know how long I'm going to be able to do this disgusted by how bad it is it's like disgusting like genuinely this is going to be a fucking nightmare. And I know that this little loop over here, or this little hill, if you f jump over there, you fall all the way back down. Okay. I'm actually getting higher than I would have thought in the first few minutes of it. speaking too soon. <clears throat> it's doable. But I could see how, like, some of the more precarious moments later on could be very, very 
frustrating. When you're building a video game world, you're building with ideas. And that can be like working with quickset cement. You mold your ideas into a certain shape that can be played with. And in the process of playing with them, they begin to harden and set until they're immutable, like rock. And at that point, you can't change the world. Not without breaking it into pieces and starting fresh with new ideas. How do I... How would I... How the hell... How would I ever... How would <clears throat> I ever... Did you? No, no, of course not. When would I have ever? It's just... It just feels bad. I could easily see how people would get mad at this. I'm not the type of person to rage, so maybe I'm not the most entertaining person to watch play rage games, but... Oh my god. I can't believe how bad it is. I mean, I guess I should have known. Just based on how some people react to it. But. Doesn't feel good. Oh, it really doesn't feel good. I told myself I'd probably give myself like an hour to play. I've been playing for 16 minutes. And I guess by the amount of progress that feels about right, but by the amount of frustration, I feel like I've been playing for hours. Give me an ulcer. Oh god. I gotta be very careful about this. Because this could easily send me all the way back down. You've done this part oh, so before. You know it's possible. Just do what you did the first time. Oh, you just lost a lot of progress. That's a deep frustration, a real punch in the gut. It's Whoop. not intuitive, it doesn't feel nice. Oh. You know, it's made to be this way, and I know that. Whoop. Oh, but it just feels bad. There's not many games in my life that just feel bad to play. Like, Quop is one of them. I think he also made Quop. Oh, that was the one where you had to control the racer. Uh, but, like, his upper and lower legs were controlled with different keys on the keyboard. Mm. Oof, sorry about that. No, you're not. Eat shit. This is... Oh. It's like pulling teeth. It's like stubbing your toe. It's like shitting your pants. Oh, it happened again. Keep on trying, don't let it get to you. I'm letting it get to me. Alright, I just gotta slow it down a little. Oh. This thing that we call failure is not the falling down, but the staying down. Mary Pickford. He won't shut up. I just want him to shut up. 
This part I can do fairly easily. God, I'm gonna jinx myself. No, this part I did already. At least the sounds are kind of relaxing. I know. Uh, all alone in this nightmare kind of way. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you with your music. Get nasty old boy. That kind of music's kind of fun. Going down the road feeling bad. The soul would have no rainbow had the eyes no tears. John Vance Cheney. Oh, smooth jazz. Oh, now just silence. I kind of felt better when there was music. At least there was something to kind of distract my mind. It has the option for a trackpad. I don't know if it actually assumes you'd ever be able to beat the game with a trackpad, but it has the option so they know that some people will attempt it, at the very least. All right, I'm almost up to where I was before. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm. Going round around with the bees. Whoop. Going where there's Whoop. 27 bees. Mm. Need those bees, need them in my hole. Cheese and corny grits. Yodelo. Going where there's plenty of. Jeez, to feed all of the grits to my bees. I think I have to be up there. Oof. I don't like that. Yeah, I think I do though. Okay. Just push off. Oh no, I was here before. Okay, so I'm making some kind of progress. I put grits and cheese in my head. 
and I eat them, then I won't be dead. Because my mind and body will be fed. Yololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololol
feels bad. Feels Whoop. physically uh. bad. Whoop. Oh my god, I, I don't think I've ever played a game that felt this way. I think one of the worst things worst things about it is I've seen people beat this, so I think I have that in my head that I know it's possible. And so my mind is saying I could do this. But I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. Oh god, my stomach. <laughs> Game's gonna make me throw up. Oh. The last time I had like a such a visceral reaction to how bad something was like this was like a few weeks ago. I watched Halloween Town on Disney Disney Plus, um, and I haven't seen that movie since I was like less than. No, it's got to be like maybe 10, 10 years old less than I last saw that movie. And so that's what, like 15 plus years ago. <clears throat> it does not hold up at all. Like, I had this visceral reaction when I watched it where it's like... <clears throat> I was expecting at some point during the movie to have this sense of nostalgia and be like, oh yeah, this is great. This is this is good. This is just like I remember. It's still good. I didn't feel that at all. Once. Even, like, I think the characters are annoying. And it's really, really poorly made. Like, these special effects are horrible. It's not funny, it's not charming, it just like is viscerally bad and I had this like, it's just very bad and I had this reaction where my body was like, this is wrong, I remember this movie being good, I remember liking this movie a lot and I think maybe it was just the idea of it. Maybe it was just the idea of it. Just like stop for a second. Oh, please don't do that. Please don't do that. Oh, I feel like, oh, there's this weird way that the controls move that it actually feels like when you have to lift up like that. Like you have to actually struggle to pull it up. Oh. For years now, people have been predicting that games would soon be made out of prefabricated objects bought in a store and assembled into a world. And for the most part, that hasn't happened because the objects in the stores are trash. I don't mean they look bad or that they're badly made, although a lot of them are. I mean they're trash in the way that food becomes trash as soon as you put it in the sink. Things are made to be consumed and used in a certain context. And once the moment is gone, they transform into garbage. In the context of technology, those moments pass by in seconds. This game is garbage. You ever think about that? No. I think I got decently far for the amount of time what? that I've been playing. Although, who, who knows how much footage I'm actually going to keep in. Um, but yeah, Halloween Town. It's a piece of shit. And it made me very upset. Because I remember it not being that. I watched the second one. 
It's even worse. It is like mind-bogglingly bad. If you haven't watched the Halloween Town movies since you were a kid and you remember loving them, um, well, you could do two things. You could not watch it, keep your memories intact, let yourself keep thinking that they were good because I kind of wish I had done that. Or watch them again and prepare for an experience that you are not ready for. Prepare for what you're not prepared for. Um, there's scenes in that movie that just feel like they had like part of the script written and then they just told the actors to just do whatever the fuck they wanted. And they stopped caring like halfway through. The brother is annoying as hell and learns nothing throughout the first movie because in the second movie he's exactly the same. The grandma and the mom have this feud where the grandma wants to pull the kids into um, pull the kids into Halloween Town and kind of forces Over time, we've poured more and more refuse into this vast digital landfill that we call the internet. It now vastly outnumbers and outweighs the things that are fresh and untainted and unused. When everything around us is cultural trash, trash becomes the new medium, the lingua franca of the digital age. And you can build culture out of trash. But only trash culture. B games, B movies, B music, B philosophy. Movies. Like Halloween Town. Oh. oh, my head froze for a second. It's getting all this. All this nightmare. Oh. Nightmare scenario. Uh, this the vertical wall here has a way of getting it harder the more times you try it. I think anger makes you swing the hammer harder, and that can you away from the wall. Good advice. Just kidding. Fuck you. Oh. It's not necessarily that... I'm trying to swing the hammer harder. It's that the only way to propel yourself uh. upward is to make full swings. But in doing so, you kind of risk pushing away from the wall. If I fall back down from this area, I'm quitting. I don't care if it gets to an hour or not. Well, yeah, um, what was I saying? Grandma comes back into the picture and uh, tells the mom, basically. He's like, I need your help because some shit's happening in Halloween Town. Which never really... I, I think they never really even explain what exactly is happening. Just that some people are going missing, but nobody seems overly concerned about it when you're actually in Halloween Town. Um, in, in fact, it, I feel like the conflict doesn't even really happen so much until like the last ten minutes of the movie and then they try and wrap that thing up. Which, not to say that this was a bad movie, I think that, uh, but Coraline had that same sort of thing where they kind of introduced too much too near to the end and then everything kind of had to wrap up in a very quick manner and it felt a little bit rushed just to me but again Coraline it's a beautiful movie beautifully animated and I don't want to make any sort of comparisons and say it's on the same level as Halloween Town at all but 
Um, yeah. The grandma tries to pull the <clears throat> granddaughter into the into Halloween Town. Says like she's a witch, and the mom's like, I don't really. Oh shit. Um, and it might just be that I don't have enough space. In which case, I'll come back to it. Ah, uh, yeah. Low space captures. Getting over it. Okay. All right, so 46 minutes. It's good enough. Good enough to start. Uh, as long as I'm not completely out. And I'm just going to talk about Halloween Town for the rest of the video, I guess. Um, but yeah, the mom just like... Uh, the grandma comes into the life, into the mom's life again, out of nowhere, like she doesn't ever visit. And she's like, oh yeah, if she doesn't become a witch by midnight, she's never going to be a witch. And the mom's like, I don't want her to be. That's kind of why I took her to the normal world. And yeah. And grandma's like, oh, fuck you. And she goes back to Halloween Town. And admittedly, it's not the grandma's idea, but the daughter comes along and she, the granddaughter, I mean, she comes along and stows away. And the grandma's reaction isn't like, oh no, we can't have you here because your mom's going to be concerned and all this shit. She has no reaction whatsoever. She's just immediately like, cool, you're here. I don't give a shit. Fuck my daughter. I hate her. And... Um, yeah, it's a bad movie. It really is. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I think he probably didn't come to this video for that hot take, but you got it anyway. So I guess that's, that's all I got to say for right now. Um, I made some decent progress. I'm just going to exit out, um, and maybe come back to this at another time, but I can't imagine I will because I don't enjoy that game. It just feels bad to play and it just is a kind of disgusting experience if I had to use a word. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching um, and remember, until next time, I love you. Bye!